Captain America Winter Soldier. This is one I've heard a lot about. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we are watching Captain America the Winter Soldier. Welcome back to my channel, everybody. Thank you so much for being here and welcome if you are new. Today, we're jumping into another Captain America movie and I'm so happy because I've heard rave reviews about this one. I don't know what happens in it. I haven't heard any spoilers or anything like that, but this is one of those movies that people just keep getting so excited for me to get to and hyping it up to me. And given how much I liked the first Captain America movie, I'm really excited to see this one. I'm not gonna lie, I have a feeling I'm probably gonna cry. His story just definitely hits my heart a bit more, how he lost his best friend and how he had to be separated by time from likely his true love. His story is definitely a lot more heart-wrenching than some of the other Avengers. And I'm just excited to get to see him again. I'm excited to see how he handles being in the new world. I'm assuming this movie takes place after the first Avengers, of course, just because all the other movies that we've seen thus far after the Avengers movie have taken place sequentially after that as well. But all in all, I've really avoided figuring anything out about this movie, hearing any details about it, so I don't really know what's gonna happen. I'm wondering if he's just called the Winter Soldier because he was found in ice. <laughs> or if there's another reason he's called the Winter Soldier in this movie, or if it's referring to somebody else who's the Winter Soldier, I don't really know. Have no idea who the villain's gonna be, haven't even looked up the cast list for this. I'm really doing my best to try to avoid figuring anything out about these movies from here on out, because a lot of people have told me to avoid looking at posters, because that could potentially spoil something for me. So I'm pretty excited to just jump on into this one. But before I do that, real quick, if you don't know, I do have a Patreon page where you can catch my full length reactions to everything we watch over here on this channel. I always link that in the description bar down below and you can also vote in polls, help me decide what I watch next. And you just need your own copy to watch along with me. So if that's something that interests you, please click that link below. Also make sure to follow me on my Twitter and my Instagram where I post notifications about when I post here on this channel, as well as fun little updates and posts that I don't really do anywhere else. So yeah, make sure to follow me on those platforms as well. But I don't really wanna to talk too much. I just wanna jump on into this one. I don't have too, too much to say, quite honestly, because it's been a while since we've seen Steve, especially given the fact that I watched the first Avengers movie before the holidays. So it's been a really long time for me since I've seen anything with Captain America other than his mild <laughs> co-star appearance in Thor The Dark World, which I loved that moment. I thought that was adorable. But yeah, I'm really excited to see him again and see him in action. So with that being said, I think we should just jump on into it. So grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into the movie. Okay, we're in DC. <gasps> on your left. Oh my God. <laughs> He's showing him sprinting around. That's his. He's laughing the same guy. Don't say it. Don't you say it. You just ran like 13 miles in 30 minutes. I can barely run three in 30 minutes. Must have freaked you out coming home after the whole defrosting thing. Takes some getting used to. Oh my god, are they gonna be friends? You must miss the good old days, huh? Food's a lot better. We used to boil everything. No polio's good. No polio is good. Marvin Gaye. 1972 oh. Trouble Man soundtrack. Everything you missed jammed into He's one got a it. notebook that he writes it down on. Instead of like on an iPhone note, he uses a notebook. That's so cute. Either one of you know where the Smithsonian is? I'm here to pick up a fossil. <laughs> Scarto looks good with every hairstyle imaginable. Is he wearing a parachute? No. No, he wasn't. Why are we acting like that's fine? He's just gonna dive into the water. That's awful. That gives me so much anxiety, Steve. That would shatter your legs, wouldn't it? I swear, he gets like more and more invincible every movie. It's so weird. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Wow, so fast. Oh, oh, it's over for you, dude. It's so fun to see him so efficient at taking bad guys. Oh God, oh my God. It's so fun to see him so efficient at taking bad guys out again because in Avengers, he had a lot harder of a time with it because they were facing off with like different kinds of aliens and the Hulk at one point, like just, he was facing off with like much more formidable foes than just people. So it's nice to see him just taking a bunch of people out. There's really a recurring theme here with like, weapons coming back to the superhero, like Thor, his hammer comes back, Captain America, his shield comes back, and now Iron Man, he can call his suit. Oh, that guy, the one guy that you don't. <gasps> oh, we got him, oh, thank God. I told you, 
Shield doesn't negotiate. That guy looked so calm the entire time. Like, he didn't look concerned at all. Like, I get it, you're with S.H.I.E.L.D., but I would start getting nervous when they're like counting down about to kill people. Natasha. Oh God. <laughs> Natasha! Whoa! You gonna take out his junk? Oh! <gasps> Jesus Christ, how is that guy not down for the count after that? That was awful. Jesus, ow. Oh, this is awkward. Oh, hey, Natasha. You're saving S.H.I.E.L.D. intel. Our mission is to rescue hostages. No, that's your mission. Mm. When are you gonna figure out that S.H.I.E.L.D. is kind of complicated? It's never straightforward or black and white with them, okay? I feel like Natasha's always doing different stuff. Steve is only told what he needs to know, I feel like, is the theme. Oh, God. I see S.H.I.E.L.D. is still focused on building the best weapons. We all know how well that went when they were trying to get the Tesseract. This is Project Insight. Project Insight. Three next generation helicarriers synced to a network of targeting satellites. Once we get them in the air, they never need to come down. They never need to come down? So if people want to leave the ship, they have to like take another plane off the ship to fly back down to the ground. Oh my God, he's in the Smithsonian. Now I get Natasha's reference before calling him a fossil at the Smithsonian. Peggy. Peggy. No way sometimes the best that we can do is to start over <laughs> oh my god is she gonna die right now oh yeah peggy don't die right now please i just figured out you were alive you came, you came oh god oh god oh god oh god well i couldn't leave my best girl not when she owes me a dance oh no i knew i was gonna cry but i didn't think it'd be this early oh that's rough man alzheimer's and dementia are the worst things ever oh this guy you lose someone my wingman oh riley riley sounds like buggy okay i swear to god if they become good friends and this guy dies i'm not gonna be okay like i don't want any more steve's friends dying oh god these are these guys watching him my lease? that was sketchy af <gasps> Oh, that's why it was sketchy. Now. What a badass car. Oh no, who's this guy? Oh no. Oh no. Nick! He can't die, right? It wouldn't make sense. Maybe. I don't know. I'm so confused. Who are these people? Also, that guy has to be the real villain, huh? He was clearly the most badass guy that we've seen thus far. If you want, you welcome to use my machine. Oh yeah? What's it cost? A cup of coffee. Is he asking her out? Oh, and I think you left your stereo on. Oh no, who's in his apartment? He didn't leave it on. Don't go in there, Steve. Nick! Oh! Oh, that's where Nick ran to. My wife kicked me out. Why is he lying to him that his wife kicked him out? That's not what happened. I'm sorry to have to do this, but I had no place else to crash. Oh, that's why he's lying. Oh my god. Oh my god, is he about to die? He's dying. Holy I don't trust anyone. Captain Rogers? Captain. I'm Agent 13 of Shield Special Service. Oh my god, even his neighbor was planted. I'm 20 on the shooter. Tell him I'm in pursuit. <laughs> Commence action sequence. Oh, it's that guy, isn't it? The guy that tried to kill him in the middle of the street. Oh no, that guy's good. Oh, this is where Steve is meeting his match. Like I said before, regular people are just too easy for him. Oh God, is Nick gonna die? I feel like he'll make it. I feel like he'll be fine, but just not for this movie. He's gonna be incapacitated like Happy was for Iron Man 3. Oh my God, is he gonna die? I was not expecting that. I really didn't think he was gonna go out like that. I just couldn't imagine not having him for more movies. That was so bizarre to me. I, wow, I'm really caught off guard by that. What did Steve just figure out? What did he just figure out? He was thinking something. Did he see something in there? <gasps> was that a bug? How did it end up in the vending machine? Who are these people? I'm Alexander Pierce. Is it Pierce? Yes, sir, it's an honor. Is Pierce the bad guy? Who's the bad guy? God, I don't know who to trust. The hijacking was a cover for the acquisition and sale classified intelligence if you really knew nick fury you would yeah know yeah now i don't trust this guy pierce i'm not sure i trust rumlow either kind of scared of him I'm scared of everybody what the f 
There's so much tension! And he looks so calm and cool and collected right now. Before we get started, does anyone want to get out? <gasps> no! Yeah! Come on, Steve! Mobilize strike units 25th floor. Finally! Wait, do they mean strike units against Captain America or to help him? I don't know what, what's what anymore. I don't know what's what. This place is so corrupt. Oh my god. Ow. Oh my god, people! Ow! Oh my god, ow. Okay, like, he's still just a person, though. Like, I know he's a superhuman, but that arm has to be shattered. He's headed for the garage. Lock down the bridge. No! Yeah! <laughs> these guys. What the hell? I can't even tell who's compromised or corrupt anymore. I know who killed Fury. Of course she does. The ones that do call him... The Winter Soldier! There it is. It's the villain. Got it. This council moves to immediately reactivate Project... Oh, these guys are so stupid. Every conversation we have with them is just like, they're idiots. And you need a better disguise! Hoods and glasses do not cover it! My fiancé was just helping me with some honeymoon destination. Where are you guys thinking about going? New Jersey? New Jersey. <laughs> it's gonna happen on the escalator. Oh no, oh no. Kiss her, kiss her, kiss her, kiss her, kiss her, kiss her. Kiss her. Kiss her. Natasha, you're so smart! Oh my god, she's so smart. Oh, she's the best, man. She's like, kiss me right now. It's a distraction method only. Oh, whoa. Holy f Is Shield gonna be able to track this too? Oh, Steven. <gasps> Some kind of recording. I am not a recording, Fräulein. Oh, Jesus Christ. <gasps> the doctor! What the f He's the computer system? Humanity is finally ready to sacrifice its freedom to gain its security. Hydra's new world order. This honestly sounds like reality. <laughs> Got a bogey. Short range ballistic. A missile? Who fired it? Shield. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Holy <laughs> This is a lot more intense <laughs> than a lot of the other movies. It's so creepy because everything that the scientist just explained sounds like a very realistic scenario for our current world. Oh my God, S.H.I.E.L.D. is so corrupted. I never really liked S.H.I.E.L.D. to begin with, to be honest. I mean, I liked certain members of S.H.I.E.L.D. like uh, Agent, uh, oh my God, I can't remember his name right now. The guy who died in Avengers. This guy's gotta come in and help Steve, huh? I already forget this guy's name. I know we introduced him, but I, I can't remember his name. So the real question is how did the two most wanted people in Washington kidnap a S.H.I.E.L.D. officer in broad daylight? You don't. Wilson! Call it a resume. Wilson just has all this paperwork on deck, ready to go. I can't ask you to do this. Oh, Sam. Let Wilson's his last name. Okay. I like Sam. Any constituent in particular, Mrs. Hey, Sam? dude. Oh, uh, no, <laughs> not really. Come here. Hell, Hydra. Holy <laughs> Oh my god, everybody is twisted. Is this little display meant to insinuate that you're gonna throw me off the roof? Because it's really not your style, Rogers. It's her style. Oh, nice! Who's that? Wait a minute! Is this the gear that he owns? What the f That's so cool! I want one of those! But not to do this just to like, you know, fly around Los Angeles. Zola's algorithm evaluates people's past to predict their future. What then? Takes them out if they're a threat? I mean... Then the inside helicarriers scratch people off the list. Yeah, of course. Oh, the helicarriers. Oh no. Oh, it's this guy. Wow! Oh wow, he's really a badass. He's got steel fingers. Oh, that whole arm is steel. Are we gonna see this guy's face at some point? I really hope we see his face. Wow, the whole concept of like this villain, this just feels a little too realistic to like the real world. Tracking people based off of like voting patterns and records and information you find on their phone, things like that. It's just, ugh, it's giving me anxiety. <laughs> No! I really don't want Natasha to die. Steve, kick this guy's ass! I know it's really hard, but do it! And he's got a steel arm. Like, that's just not fair. The mask. The mask came off. What? Bucky? Who the hell is Bucky? What? I am so confused. Is this guy like a Bucky clone? It's gotta be a clone. I can't... Bucky's whole unit was captured in 43. Oh, that's true. They did. 
Is that Colby Smolders? I have a feeling that's Colby. Yeah, it is! I, I saw how skinny that person was, and I was like, it's probably Colby Smolders. Agent Coulson! That's who I was thinking of earlier. <laughs> wow, that took a really long time for that name to come back to me. Oh, guys, somebody please save Natasha. Oh, my God. They faked his death. They faked his death so he could be safe. Oh. This makes so much more sense because it didn't feel right that Nick Fury was dead like that. That was such a lame death. Oh my God, is this really Bucky's body? Oh my God, it is. It is. Wait, that's so awful. Holy I did not expect this. It's a man on the bridge. I knew him. Oh God. Wipe him and start over. Wipe him? Oh my god. My mind is blown right now. I hope that when they face off again, Steve and Bucky, that he does recognize him again, even though they just wiped his brain. Shield is not what we thought it was. He got it's on the PA system? By Hydra. Alexander Pierce is their leader. Yep. He's just like, yeah. This is the smartest thing they could have done is get on the PA system because like they couldn't have fought against everybody in S.H.I.E.L.D. You have to like make an announcement so that people know what they're fighting for. You picked the wrong side, Agent. Depends on where you're standing. Yeah, bitch. You tell him. Oh, no! Kill him! Kill him! Oh, God. Oh, he overrid it. Oh, no. Wow, Hydra really loves to just have like planes in the air or ships in the air that are just used for like taking out entire cities. It's like the same thing as the first Captain America movie. Like that's the way Hydra likes to operate and control people. Oh, you're gonna get killed, dude. <gasps> Is she a badass fighter? Whoa! Oh, it's ScarJo, holy <laughs> What a great disguise. See, that would have been really convenient if they could have had that disguise uh, while they were hiding from shield <laughs> oh no they're taking out their planes bucky you're on the wrong team bucky you're on the wrong side i don't like this oh jesus oh god do you got it oh god he's got to face off with bucky i was right it makes the most sense oh my god bucky please remember him take off your mask steve it'll help jog his memory No. Oh my God. Oh God, if that microchip gets destroyed. Don't let it get destroyed. Oh! There are no prisoners with Hydra. Just order. Shut up, dude. You're such a loser. Shut the hell up. Yeah, exactly. Shut the hell up. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God. No! That doesn't seem fair at all. No, Bucky. Hurry up! <laughs> you gotta do it now, Cap. You have to do it. You have to do it. There are more movies where you are alive. It's gonna be fine. Just stand up and do it. Okay, Cap, get out of there. He can't. He's dying, man. I don't... How is he gonna get out of this? Bucky. Oh, God. It's like a flashback situation kind of thing. Oh, God. You will again when it's useful. What did she just do? I am so confused. What did she just do to herself? Don't fight. Don't Please don't fight. No, I don't. Yes, you do! Take off the mask, Steve! It will help! I'm not gonna fight you. Oh my god, he just let go of his shield. Wait, I liked that shield, though. You're no! Finish. No, stop! 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 Finish it. Because I'm with you to the end of the line. Oh my god. Is Bucky gonna jump in the water and save him? Because there's no way, Steve's not dying right now. I did not think like the villain was gonna be Bucky. This is really so sad. Oh my God, he saved him. Don't, don't leave him. No, don't do it. Oh God. I want Bucky to be okay too, you know? Like mentally. <laughs> oh, he's playing Marvin Gaye. On your left. No. Oh. oh, now she's working for the CIA. Oh, and she's interviewing for Stark Industries. They're all interviewing for other positions. That's great. Oh, yep, it's time for you to get arrested, man. Ah, uh, he switched to sunglasses now. Oh, oh, he's still dead. Interesting. I called in a few favors from Kiev. What did he ask for? Be careful, Steve. Oh, this is probably the research file on Bucky. Yeah. Going after him. You don't have to come with me. When do we start? Wow. Oh, God. Oh, God. Who are these guys? What we have. Oh! <gasps> that any of them ever knew. 
Oh no. How did they get this? Are they running experiments on people? The twins. That guy is creepy. He like moves so twitchily. Those people are twins? Oh my God. Oh my God, he's reading about his past. Oh. I hope that means like he's gonna get reformed and be good, but I don't know, that music was really ominous, so I'm not quite sure. One interesting thing that I just noticed, um, because before filming this outro, I actually looked up the cast list because now I've seen the movie, I figured I can look up the cast list. I really am glad I didn't look it up before watching the movie because I would have seen that Bucky was again in this movie and I would have thought something weird about it because he's listed at the top of the list in terms of the cast and usually that's the people who are more prominently featured in the movie. So I'm glad I didn't do that. But one thing I can't help but notice, the actress Emily Van Camp who played Sharon the nurse, her last name is Carter? She's also Peggy's last name? And I don't believe in coincidences. <laughs> So I wouldn't be surprised if that's like Peggy's daughter or granddaughter or something, um, which would make sense why her and Steve kind of have a natural chemistry. I'd be interested to see if we see her again in future Captain America movies or if she was just given a random last name for this movie and there isn't a connection, but I kind of have a hard time believing that there's not a connection. Man, I feel like I'd heard vague whispers of Bucky coming back around in future movies, but I had no idea that he was gonna be still alive and come back around in such a upsetting way. <laughs> I had seen some like comments on my first Captain America reaction when I wept and was absolutely a wreck when Bucky died. Um, some people just being like, just wait, you know? But I didn't really put two and two together and figure out what that meant because I do my best to not read too many comments when it, when it comes to the Marvel movies because I'm just scared of spoilers. So I tend to only read like the first page of comments and then back away slowly because I'm, again, just super conscious of the spoiler thing. But I did see some people hinting about the fact that I might see Bucky again, but I just assumed that they were talking about some flashbacks or maybe other moments when we'd get to see Bucky, not necessarily that he was still alive and being used as a weapon. So that threw me off. This was definitely a good movie. There was a lot of um, really high stakes. Really interesting to see that S.H.I.E.L.D. was corrupted by Hydra. Honestly, I wouldn't have even been surprised if it was just that S.H.I.E.L.D. was corrupt, period, and not being run by another organization because I think uh, there's sketchy things going on in every government, so. Um, I think it's interesting that they're keeping the Hydra thing alive because I would have believed like S.H.I.E.L.D. could have just been corrupt on its own and that could have been its own issue. I don't even think it needed to be Hydra. This movie is an interesting one to think about because I don't even know exactly who like the real villain is. Like Bucky has clearly been tormented and used as a weapon. Pierce was obviously not very good, but he was also probably um, brought in by higher up people from Hydra since Hydra's been around so long. So it's interesting. There's a lot of people who have questionable motives who are not good. And um, there, there's not really an easy one person to point at, right? It's more of a whole organization corrupting another organization. But there's a lot of scary themes in this one that honestly just feel super realistic, quite honestly. So this whole movie, watching it, it just reminded me a lot of things I've heard about in our current world and it just kind of freaks me out and I get a little bit more heady with it. So I have a harder time um, <laughs> processing movies like this because it just kind of freaks me out a little bit. It kind of makes me feel a teeny tiny bit like the way I felt when I've watched some Black Mirror episodes. And that's kind of why I've steered away from the whole Black Mirror series because I just get so <laughs> messed up thinking about some of this type of stuff, but this was definitely a really good movie. I'm happy we got to see some new characters like Falcon. Um, Anthony Mackie did a good job with that. It's nice to see some new characters get brought back in and not just lose people we like. I'm happy to see that Steve is forming some bonds with other characters like Natasha. And I'll just be interested to see what the next Captain America movie has in store, really, because uh, honestly, all I can think about right now is Bucky, and I'm really curious to see where it's gonna go from here. I really just want Bucky to get reformed so badly. I want him and Steve to reconnect in a good way, so I hope that happens, but maybe I'm just being really naive and super optimistic, but that's what I want. It looks like we're not gonna get another Captain America movie until Captain America Civil War. I believe the next movie that we have slated to watch 
based off of the release order, which is what I'm doing, is Guardians of the Galaxy. And I have seen that one. I'm excited for that because that's, from what I remember, that's going to be a super lighthearted, fun movie to watch. The soundtrack is awesome. Chris Pratt is hilarious. So I'm excited to get back into that one. Fun fact about my dad, he loves the character Groot. <laughs> So I'm probably just going to be thinking about my dad half the time while watching that movie. Oh my god, he just texted me. Guys. Guys, I literally... I can't even make... I can't even... I have to show you. Look. Isn't that weird? <laughs> He's got like ESP or something. We're like connected. That's so strange. So I can't wait to get to that movie. I'm very excited for that one. And then I believe it's the next Avengers movie and then Ant-Man or it could be flipped. I I'm, can't remember right now off the top of my head. But to be honest, I'm really eager to get to Captain America Civil War now. Every time I watch a movie, I just want to see what the next chapter is for that specific character. So it's definitely hard to bounce around. Um, but so far, the way I've been watching these movies, a lot of things are making sense to me and I'm following certain things. Obviously, I'm gonna miss some stuff because I haven't read the comic books and I haven't grown up with the MCU world, but for the most part, I am able to process most of it based off of the order that I'm watching it in. So that was a good suggestion. I do appreciate that. And I have been enjoying these movies a lot. It's funny because I feel like I'm catching up, you know, but when I look at this list, uh, <laughs> there's like, Oh my God, there's like, I don't even know. They started to number them, but there's like over 25 movies. I mean, there's so many that I haven't seen. I don't even know how many movies there are and they're still making some. So I haven't even gotten close to catching up at all, but I like to pretend that I am, I suppose. We definitely have a lot to get through, but I am starting to pick up the pace a teeny bit over here on this channel, trying to do two movies a week now. Um, I'm super happy with that. So please guys, if you like the new, upload rhythm that we're doing over here on this channel. If you appreciate the double feature each week, please go and let my editors know in the comments below that you appreciate their work because I couldn't do it without them. And yeah, I'm super grateful to have some help over here on this channel now. But for now, that is all I have for you guys in this video. So if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up because it helps me out and lets me know that you guys wanna see more content like this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and anything else you might like me to watch next and subscribe if you want to. Until the next one, stay golden, bye.